friends, it's me, Yatan Upadhyaya, welcoming you once again in Math Art Studio. Today also we are on geometrical properties of geometrical figures and today we are discussing the area of a parallelogram. Okay, let's get started. Uh, let's take a sheet of paper. In this paper, draw a parallelogram. length and breadth, height, etc. They have no restrictions. You can have any length and any breadth or any height, something like that. In the construction lesson, in my presentation, I'll be coming up with different method of constructing a parallelogram by paper folding technique, by construction method, straight design compass only, things like that. Today, we are going to have the area of this parallelogram. I am not naming it because I have to cut it and paste in another one. At that time, I will name it. Now, one thing we can do is that draw the height of this parallelogram. Height may go from here, height may go from here, height may go from here, from anywhere. So, from approximately at middle, it is not necessary to be in the middle. Anywhere you like to, you can draw the height of the parallelogram. This one is the height, you know. Cut out the parallelogram. Okay, so You have the parallelogram over here and you can name this parallelogram ABCD. Before that, draw its outline here. Okay, now you have the parallelogram, name it A, B, C, D. A, B, C and D. You know? A, B, C, D is a parallelogram and E, F is its height. E, F. Okay? And now, cut it into two pieces. these two pieces and you can arrange take this one and arrange it over here so that you would have a rectangle EF GH so you should have noticed our approach most of the time we are transferring the geometrical shape in the form of a rectangle because we know the area of the rectangle is length into breadth you know, known to every student, not to any teacher, very easily. That's why we are just using the concept of um, the area of a rectangle to generalize the uh, area for the geometrical shapes. So here we have the parallelogram ABCD. Uh, area of the parallelogram. A, B, C, D equals to area of the rectangle, rectangle E, F, G, H. So the area of the rectangle is length into breadth, length into breadth and the length is F, G into breadth is GH and again this length FZ is equal to BC because you know FC plus CG is the same as 
F C plus B F because B F is equal to C G. That is why the length F G is equal to B C and height G is equal to E F. Then therefore the area of the parallelogram is abbreviated by parallelogram symbol and this is the base and that one is the height. Therefore the area of the parallelogram is equal to base into height. So this is the formula to be generalized today in our presentation. For the alternative approach, take a parallelogram sheet of paper, the previous parallelogram sheet of paper with the diagonal in it and cut along the diagonal into two pieces. Cut along the diagonal into two pieces and fix one of them Fix one of them on the sheet of paper gluing at the back. Now it is fitted over here. I put back the previous uh, piece over here, fitting each other to the form of a parallelogram. Name this parallelogram A, B, C, D. So, yesterday, in our presentation, what we did is that to find the area of a quadrilateral, we had used the concept of offsets and used one of the diagonals of that quadrilateral. So this is also a quadrilateral, it is a special kind of quadrilateral and does the similar approach for the area of a quadrilateral works exactly uh, for the area of the parallelogram also. So that is what we are testing here. For that one, let us draw the offsets. So offset is the perpendicular drawn from the vertex uh, to the diagonal. Opposite vertex to the diagonal, that's why this is one of the offset. And that one is another offset. So there are two offsets. This is P1 and that is P2. Okay. And Now cut this one, one of the piece into two right angle triangle cutting along the offset. So now you have the two triangles and they fit again into the form of the parallelogram exactly. Cutting does not change the area, that is the concept behind this. Now take out this piece and move it up here. It goes there and take out this piece and move, move it up here. It's like that, you know. Now you name this another rectangular shape as ACGH. ACGH. And based on this, let's go for the analysis. Here, what we have seen is that area of the parallelogram. is equal to area of the rectangle and area of the rectangle is what? Length into breadth. Length is HG and breadth is CG. You can write GC. Okay. So this HG is very much equal to AC because opposite side of a rectangle are equal. That's why you can write AC into that CG is the offset that is equal to B let me write P over here is equal to BP and S is the diagonal and BP is the offset one of the offset you know and therefore the area of the parallelogram is diagonal D into one of the offset P, you can say P1 or P2, you know, P1. Let me write P1 over here. So area of the parallelogram is equal to this one. And is it the same as the formula we have derived yesterday? Yesterday in, your form, in our formula, the area of the quadrilateral was half diagonal sum of 
offset P1 plus P2. In that case, the two offsets were very different in length. They are different. But here, these two offsets are equal. That's why in place of that one, what we can do? We can write 2P1 because P2 is equal to P1. And these two and these two cancels out and D into P1 is the formula, another formula for the area of the parallelogram. Therefore, parallelogram is equal to this. So this way, we can derive the alternative formula using the same parallelogram uh, and arranging it in different form. Okay, thank you my dear friends watching the uh, math teaching video in MathArt Studio. Uh, keep watching and do not forget to subscribe it and while you are subscribing, you have to see the bell nearby the subscribe button. Once you press subscribe button and then after that if you press the bell and that will provide you the facility of getting instant notification whatever we are doing in our channel. So, so that you can see the new videos and you will be getting the information every day. Thank you very much once again.